picked for today. We're in the Christmas spirit here at NBC5, and we've got our camera in Plattsburgh pointed towards the Christmas tree on Margaret Street. We don't have a great view of it from CVPH, but if you look through the tree branches, sure enough, you can see the shining lights of that tree in downtown Plattsburgh this morning. A very Merry Christmas to all of our Plattsburgh viewers and all of our viewers across the region as well. 16 in the Lake City, feeling like four with that stubborn wind still out of the south, about 10 miles per hour. We still have the blizzard warning up for St. Lawrence County, including places like Potsdam and Governor. There's actually a state of emergency declared for the entire county and a travel ban extended for the towns you see on your screen. There's also just a non-essential travel advisory up for the entire county. The officials are just asking if you can't, if you don't need to travel today, it might be best to stay off the roads because there's still some very heavy snow coming down. I mean, look at this lake effect snow band near Governor, probably near zero visibility here. Tough, if not impossible travel, and this band will waver around throughout the day. May even make it to the Tri Lakes with some periods of snow. You can see all of the lake effect going on across the Great Lakes this morning. And again, some of that may reach the Champlain Valley, possibly even the Northern Greens, but most of the snow today will be concentrated the farther west you are, again, there could be some snow showers that make it to places like Tupper Lake and Lake Placid as well. We're in the single digits and teens this morning. Not much improvement from where we were yesterday. With the wind, the feels like temperature still hovering around zero below in some spots like St. J and Burlington feeling like 10 below in Saranac Lake. Wind out of the south generally between 5 and 25 miles per hour with a few gusts up near 30. Now the wind won't go away entirely today, but it does ease up as we go towards the afternoon. So the strongest wind is occurring right now. We'll still have a few gusts in the 20s by the time the evening rolls around, but that allows our feels like temperatures to rise above zero for just about everybody. Air temperatures getting to the mid 20s with a few breaks of sun, but there could be some passing snow showers in the Tri Lakes area. And as you can see, a little bit of moisture possible in the northern greens. So some fluffy snow, always a possibility at Jay Peak, but especially today. 6 a.m. Monday, we're still looking cloudy. A few breaks of sun, the band of snow still cranking across northern New York, and it may actually be with us all the way through Tuesday. So this lake effect snow band not going anywhere fast and continuing to dump snow on places that have already seen over a foot. So here's the snowfall forecast just for the next 24 hours. There could be up to four to eight inches for some of us in Franklin County today, but as you can see, it's fairly localized. The Plattsburgh area not seeing much couple inches possible up near Jay Peak and a few inches down the spine of the Green Mountains into southern Vermont as well. And the five day forecast is largely quiet as we move through the upcoming week, turning warmer with highs in the 40s and 50s by the time we ring in 2023, but it may come with a little bit of rain as well. Lauren.